Okay. So there was something that was released earlier today or yesterday. I don't know what it is. But it looked like a trailer that released. And it seems like every time any kind of Left 4 Dead related information comes out or a fake trailer comes out, the internet just explodes. And honestly, every time I get tired of it. I get tired of people releasing fake information. Uh, we had Valve News Network say they released some screenshots that were leaked from Left 4 Dead 3 and then it posthumously just uh, got rid of or they had to cancel Left 4 Dead 3 because of it. But now today we are looking at a new trailer. It looked pretty damn good. It looked awesome and it was hinting at Left 4 Dead 3 but this looks fan made. There's nothing official that came from Valve, and it's all cryptic. It seems like the more cryptic something is, the more people are prone to believe it. But let's go ahead and look at the trailer real quick. Let me pull it up. And we're going to do a reaction to it. So let's go ahead and do that. It's got the creepy vibe of Left 4 Dead 1 at least. This is this is feeling a lot more like Dead Island or Dying Light more than it is Left 4 Dead. It's just a little too quiet. But just panning shots of like a uh, hold on, I gotta look at this. They're notes of I can't even read what these say. Looks like the uh, West. They got question marks over there, at least in California. Because I know the settings of Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, you can see the question mark in the kind of the top right corner, i got to point that way, is where kind of the setting of Left 4 Dead 1 was. And then the southwest, where we could see Louisiana circled, that's where Left 4 Dead 2 ended up going. They went from Georgia to Louisiana. But now we got the California on the west coast uh, circled there, so maybe that's the setting of Left 4 Dead 3. Ooh, yeah, it's, nah. But that's, I mean, they did get, they did their research on it at least. So, at least there's that. It looks like something in Canada too. Let's see, Cedar Evac in Louisiana. So yeah, he did his research. He circled New York there. Uh, the setting for Left 4 Dead 1 was more in Pennsylvania. So at least there's that. Life. Life for dead. Uh, product placement. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. So I don't know. This this honestly feels like dying light more than anything. You can see the pills right there. That's a, that's a good homage. But I can't tell if that's a tank head or if it's just a regular zombie head. What's going on here? Uh, but for some reason just seeing this zombie head here just does not scream left for dead to me. Even though there's a lot of uh, gore and whatnot in it, but uh, yeah. And they got an axe in there too. Hard to tell what that is. It looks like the volatile from Dying Light, though. Turn this down a bit so it's not echoing. They got the safe room door. That's how you know it's Left 4 Dead. Yeah, there's some bullet shells. And then this is what sets everyone ablaze, is the popular, iconic four fingers. And eventually it shows the three and whatnot. But it looks... This whole trailer gave me the kind of like sci-fi channel vibes to where it's not like perfect quality, but it's like the sci-fi channel level quality and the way this hand looks. That's what I'm getting the vibes from. Still, props to whoever made this. This looks fantastic, but... I mean, everyone's going to be overhyping this. Oh, I missed it. Let's see if I can catch it one more time. It's hard to pause it right at that moment, but this is... 
This is what everyone's freaking out about, and this is what everyone's making clickbait thumbnails out of. See if I can pause it in time. I have to look at that image of Sonic. I gotta make sure to pause this so I can make a clickbait thumbnail so I can get v ad revenue. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't need it. I'm not clickbaiting. Fuck it. But oh, and I have to rewind one more time because, good God, this is where I was just like, no, no, this ain't worth it. This ain't it. This ain't it, Mr. Stark. There it is. Now I can make a clickbait thumbnail. Yeah! Look at that. Look at that three. It's a three. Wow, that is perfect thumbnail clickbait right there. Stop doing this. We get it. Every time any kind of Left 4 Dead 3 information comes out, you guys have to force that shit down people's throats. There isn't a Left 4 Dead 3 coming out. There's a Back for Blood that's kind of like Left 4 Dead that might be coming out that Total Rock Studios is working on. You should go for that information. But every time some kind of like one screenshot comes out or one fake trailer comes out and you guys start exploding. I used to make jokes about this because you guys are so overhyped about this. Back when my channel first started, it'd be like, Left 4 Dead 3 is coming out February 29th, 2017 or whatever. Stop. Stop getting your hopes up. The more you get your hopes up, the more you are going to be crushed. Left 4 Dead 3 is probably not going to happen unless Valve is forced to get off their asses with Steam and make a game. But they don't have to do that. They've had All they had to do is make card games that don't do well. That's it. But... What the hell was that scream? Are they going to have the screamer special infected even though we already have like the hunter who can scream somewhat like that? That sounds like something out of dying light. Props again to the person that made this, but I'm just going off of 10 years of playing this game religiously and making a YouTube channel off of it. That just doesn't sound like something out of Left 4 Dead. That sounds too... It sounds too corny. It sounds like something Dead Rising would put in for a zombie. But... Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I'm gonna do about this video, man. I mean, there's, it's, I just get tired every time there's any kind of left for dead information. Now, it's not even information; it's just clickbait, and there's a lot of clickbait that's gonna be going on around. Please don't get your hopes up. Just follow Back for Blood and Turtle Rock Studios. They're doing a kind of a spiritual thing with Left 4 Dead. They're not releasing any more information about it, but they did to say that there's gonna be mutation zombies. And this is, it's the people that started Left 4 Dead. So follow them. Don't follow these trends that you're going to forget about in a week. Stop with the clickbait. Stop trying to... It's... Ah, 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 ah. Stop it. No more.